Okay, and here we are, everybody. We're all recording. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force. Decided we're gonna boot this up for a bit and have some fun. I still want to mess around with the uh, XYZ deck here. People were pleasantly surprised how this one was working out. Hang on. I am too. It's kind of been fun. Haven't really... Yeah, let's try this guy. Let's get some warm-up duels in. In fact, I was just reading a book. A book about what? Resurrecting the zombies? He beat me. I'm having a very good, decent day so far. I got some new binder, so I was going to organize my Pokemon cards later. Just reading the Necronomicon. A Resident Evil door randomizer? I could make that one of the goals for, um... Next, uh, next month. Well, it doesn't really need to be a goal, it could just be something I play. Anyways, I opened up with a bunch of spells and stuff. Hmm. So one of my field spells can be, uh, the discard cost. Sadly, looks like I'm not really getting much here, huh? Gonna have to end my turn. It's warm-up time. The 13th grave? Can't even activate. <laughs> Bottom list is too weak. Come on. Oh, there's Shining Angel. Perfect. And it's only a Slifer, so... All face-up monsters? Okay. I don't know if he'll just summon something stupid, because he has zombies. I don't think early zombies could do anything, though. Anyways, let's just beat him up. Just in case he throws down something that can beat over me, I'll save Lightning Vortex. You never know. There we go. Well, Resident Evil 4 is the month after that. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, but... Hmm. More bodies is better right now, so let's do that. Don't need to last will anything. Next month, I just want to do a bunch of games. This month was good. You know, there were some annoying parts, like Dylan's entire YouTube channel getting hacked, but that's all dealt with. That's all good. <laughs> um, hopefully, I can also have Dylan over so we can do more Donkey Kong Country. Obviously, he wasn't, like, in the mood to come over <laughs> while dealing with all that. All right. Let's get rid of Shining Angel, then. Put you down. But I really enjoyed playing Donkey Kong Country with him uh, a few weeks ago. And he did want to come over and play the second and third ones as well. Well, the third one might have... require some convincing for him. Okay, just sacrifice, so let's put this down. Dylan's not the biggest fan of, of three because of, like, how all of them are gimmick levels. I know a lot of people feel like that way, but I, I like three. It's fun. And we're gonna get out Hoshi. Okay, we got that. In general, I wanted to have Dylan over for some more stuff. Oh, uh, we just re weren't really able to do that this uh, month at all. He summoned a friend. The friend did nothing for him, though. Let's get him. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is the end of March it comes out, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, that's all I can do, and turn... I already did, I already did like, another full uh, remake, or sorry, Resident Evil 4 randomizer the other... That was, like, how I did New Year's. Okay, don't need to combine them. We can just hit him. Zombies don't have defense, even I know that. But he did do that. The king of the Skull Servant. Excellent. Teddy's in chat is always make always makes for a good stream. Hang on. I can put Ted I can even put Teddy's on screen if I want. Let me just find oh, there's one. Look, it's the help Teddy. I haven't used him for a bit. But I put that on screen whenever I want to ask chat for help. But we never use it because people post it anyway. <laughs> wow, it's my reading time now. There we go. Let me get a wholesome teddy instead. How about... 
Look at that. There's the sleepy bear. Look how comfy that bear looks. Isn't that a little friend? Something destruction. All right, let me warm up by beating up the clowns again. It's good to just get your head in the game. All right, let me put the bear away. He's in an awkward spot. First to go, second to go, heck yeah. Did that zombie have question mark attack? Uh, yeah, a question mark just means their attack is determined by some kind of effect that's written on them. Okay, I drew two cyber dragons right away. I wonder if I should just start with cyber jar and nothing else. Why the hell not? Let's make some chaos. Oh! He got his turn one clown fusion. This, uh, actually works out. I just made him waste so many resources for no reason. That's a clown. That's also a clown. Both last wills. Uh, hang on one second. <sighs> He's gonna be able to attack me, because he has... Hang on, 1,600. Uh, let me... How much defense does this thing have? 1,600. Okay, so yeah, put that down. Wow. One monster. <laughs> All right, then. I could just flip you up. Throw down Hoshi. Better put some stuff down. Only way I'm beating over you is if I have Hoshi anyway. Hoshi can be protected, I hope. Eh, just do it. That'll be fine. That'll be good. I don't want to put down Cyber Dragon. Unnecessary. Mm, maybe... Eh, maybe I could have sacrificed Nyu's last will twice, but... Doesn't really matter. I didn't need to blow my whole hand on that. And press it. Alright. Let's see if I can just break whatever's face down here. Oh, yeah, I forgot it showed me what that face down was when uh, Cyberjar did its thing. I totally forgot that was even on the field. Oh, he's, he's gonna do that? Okay. Just let it skip, let you do your turn. Bring back Y Dragon Head now. And yeah, I think I will do that. Fastest way to just bop everything. And now I can just special summon Cyber Dragon. Okay, there's Frontline Base. I get another special. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, then. This worked out better than I thought. Activate this. And this will just be my normal summon. Actually, I could put I could just put both cyber or cyber on the field and then use last will. Hang on. This is why I like this deck, because I can just end up doing stupid crap like this. Do this. And grab my last Hoshi. And will a second one work? It's once per copy, so let me just do this. Okay. Alright, 
And we'll do that. Put you down. And now my field is ready to just kill. Just kill. Alright, move and play this card. Especially summon one Pete the down for your hand or deck. Alright, no problem. And now we slaughter. Did I... Did I hit... Did I selected Hoshi. I meant to select the dragons. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. I was just gonna loop it anyway. I hit the wrong card. Oh, well. Minimal damage taken. He still can't do anything to me. Okay. That covers everything I got here. And he's got nothing. Alright, don't really think I need to bully the Slifers more after this. I don't even have the, the field space to put them all down. Huh. No point in special summoning, or I can't even special summon frontline base. Alright. Hit first with Y Dragon Head. And we got him. Make sure you hit him with overkill damage. Because why not? Why shouldn't I just ruin his day? 187. Oh, I lost. You're really good. Let's do it again sometime. Yeah, sure, whatever, bro. Time for class. If you have a question, I want you to speak up loud. Professor Sarder. That was nice and loud. What is it, Cyrus? Your zipper's open. You didn't have to speak up loud that time. <laughs> so funny. We're done with today's lesson. That wasn't even a question either. Like, what was that writing? How about I test out dueling this guy? Try this deck out more on a variety of teachers. Um, what packs was I trying to grind last time? I think I mostly got what I wanted. Uh, I want to go second. Come on, Dean, what you got? I don't fully remember what he has. I think it was Spellcasters. Crap. Hence the name. Okay. Throw that down. You got a magic jammer or something you're gonna have to do? Okay. If he's got Sakuretsu, oh. Let's see what it. They gave the normal summoner flip summon of a monster and return the monster to its owner's hand, and he gets to summon that because it's a counter trap card. Goody. After one of your counter trap cards has been activated and resolved by tributing all monsters on your side of the field, you can special summon this card. If this card is special summoned this way, you can destroy cards on your opponent's side of the field up to the number of fairy type monsters you tributed. You tributed a fairy. Great. Well, I could just do this and just get rid of his monster. It has no protection. All right. Works for me. I was looking for staples. Yeah, that's right. I think I was trying to pull Sakuretsu armor. Some of these staples would also go great in, um... In, in the burn deck. I think Torrential Tribute would be hilarious to put in the burn deck. Like, I have Skull Invitation active. I flip this up and I just wipe the whole field. And then my, my opponent just cries. There we go. Take some of that. Could put Hoshi down. Hmm. Tank would be more of a beat stick, more safe right now. Or I have the field spell, don't get greedy. 
can activate the Torrential Tribute next time he tries to pull that crap as well, so, in case, so I can just reset the field. Okay, let's do this. The Z-Metal Tank. The Gate Attack, okay, that's a Counter Trap. Okay, just use it because he could. End turn. Morphin Jar, and yeah, I did get Dark Hole as well. This is fine. No, I don't. I'm not gonna flip that up for that. Speaking of Dark Hole, face up card, or well, this card is face up on the field. Draw one card from your deck each time a counter trap card is activated. Okay, he took out the tank. My light stuff is buffing his monsters, sadly. I don't need to Dark Hole. I should be okay. Dark Hole is the backup plan. It's been a while since I've seen you. You should be fine to beat over that. Okay, 23. Let's get rid of it now. Don't flip anything. Okay, good. This is why the staples were good, because if he summons, like, a, a giant, like, uh, heck you monster, I can just say- I can just throw down the hole and be like, no. Guess that's that. Premature burial. Alright, pay some life points. I'll pay some life points too, bro. Activate no. It stops you from doing anything. Luminous spark. Well, 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 looks like I got him. Poor Dean, you never stood a chance. Magician of Faith. So sorry, that won't help. And he's got nothing left to flip up. Three face down cards. It was still safe to hit him. 300 points for that. That was a great duel. Keep up the good work. Nova's not around right now. Talk to Alexis. Reviewing today's lesson. Just kidding. I'm counting you for the tournament. He had a great talk. You're not bothering Alexis, are you? I don't think I want to duel you. Where even is Crowler most of the time? I think he's in the Chancellor's office. I can try dueling him, yeah. Never dueled him, like, once? No, twice. Oh, it says question mark. Did he get, did he get a new one? You may be in the same dorm as him, but try not to become like that dropout boy. I can't believe you'd say that to someone like, or say something like that to me. Someone who has a PhD in dueling. That takes guts. Come on, then. He spells dueling wrong. Go second. Skill leader, intermediate, I suppose. And here we go. Let's see what he's got. Okay, Axe of Despair, that helps. And set that. Hmm. Put my strong one down. I should need to buff it. This will these should help protect it. The bottomless, I mean. Ancient gear. All right, there it goes. Trojan horse. If you tribute summon an earth monster, treat this as two tribute monsters for it. Okay. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't a monster. It was just like an empty, uh, like, mechanism, right? Anyways, don't matter. We gotta get rid of it. Hey, remove from play. 
Hey, there's another one. Hmm. I guess I do really need to get rid of that back row. Goodbye, Axe Head. Activate the ability. And we boop that. And then we're gonna boop that. Shield type. Damage condenser. Okay, no problem then. Now I can just bring back you with this. Yeah, the thing that fights uh, isn't the Trojan horse. It's the Greeks inside of it. There we go. Could just give Mobius an axe. Why the heck not? He might get his boss monster on board. Oh! It had to be that, huh? Of course it had to be that one. Nope. There we go, then. Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. I don't know why I keep popping that. I didn't hit that. Heavy storm! Oh. Well then. That is greatly unfortunate. Wish I had heavy storm. Ooh, cyber dragon. Attack the horse. Okay, there we go. And now he has one card in his hand and one card on the field. And nothing that can stop me. Assuming he can't flip that up for anything, I win. I win. What's that do again? Discard one card from your hand. When you take battle damage, your life points. Special summon a monster from your deck with attack equal to or less the battle damage. Right, that one. Oh. You put that... Alright. Oh, no! Thanks for the gifts up there, friend. You win! He couldn't do a thing to stop me. 35. He doesn't even give that much, that great of anything. Huh? Well, I was only using 50% of my true skill. I would give a. I wouldn't give 100% against a student. Come back anytime. That covers that. Come on, cat. Let's get out of here. Talk to the rest of the boys here. Cyrus told me all about Slifer. It says it's full of losers. Talk about dueling. You'll listen. You had a great talk. What do I have on me? Nothing really for him. Go see Bastion. I remember what Bastion's deck, like, does now. Yo! Don't worry, I'm still here. Remember, you're my partner for the tournament. That's what he thinks. He had a great talk. Samurai guy. Living it up. It's a life point gain guy. He's annoying. go see the Chaz. He's just stalking around the blue dorm again. Just look, these lowly students are pretending to be better than you or me. Turns out that's how obelisks think. Talk about dueling. Okay. Now what did he like again? I don't even remember. Did he like the top grade salad? I 
No, he didn't care at all. He hated veggies. Didn't play the little, uh, little bad tune, so it's good. Swift deck. Y'all got mean decks over here. Duel this guy. Challenging me to a duel? You're one brave little guy. Come on, I'll take you on. I don't really have much to give him right now, do I? Ruffian Realm. Ooh, Future Fusion. Ooh, Guy Power. Ooh, Hammerhead. Okay, throw that down. Yep, I just took a drink. I can take another one. Let me get my special monster here. Hmm. Problem is, I can't hit him. Uh, turn to the hand. Okay. I'm gonna have to just stall, it seems. That's unfortunate. I got Future Fusion, at least. He didn't have another monster. Ah, come on. Just why? All right, all right, I'll stretch. Let me do that. Dark Zebra? Oh, I get it. It's a Dark Zebra because it has inverted colors. This is the only card in your control ult or in your standbys. It's automatically placed in defense position. You cannot change the position of this card during the same turn. Well, goodbye to Zebra. Come on, Future Fusion. Please don't have, um... Sakuretsu armor. Please, please, please don't have that. I really don't have much of a choice but to take the chance and go for it. I don't know where my back row remo removal will be. All or nothing. That stupid hammerhead effect, though. Like, I'm gonna lose them. Ah! At least I'll get, I, I don't- can't- I don't have a way to beat over them otherwise. I'm just gonna do it. Go on, send it back. See if I care. I'm gonna draw exactly the card I need next turn now. Ugh. Gilosaurus. Oh, it can just beat over me. Cool! Well then, back to stalling, because all I'm getting is monsters that can't do crap. Oh, come on. Game! Where are my spells? Please! Uh, oh, oh, now you give me two-man cell battle. Ugh, I don't have a choice now. I'm gonna have to just crash in and last will, like, Angel or something. This is pathetic. <laughs> Four hundred points down the drain. Do that. Activate. Well, 
Didn't really make much of a difference anyway. He already- I should've did it earlier when he only had one monster. What? Chain- What? What? Uh, uh, okay. Here we go. Activate the effect, yeah. The only reason I'm doing this pretty much is because it gives me a better chance of not drawing a freaking monster I don't want now. <laughs> because I, that's all I'm getting right now. Oh my, any monster is normal summon, flip summon, special summon is changed defense position. Oh my god, oh my god. Well then, there's swords. About time. Let's do that then. You can activate this card when your opponent, a uh, monster on your opponent's side of the field is in face up attack position, change face up defense position, destroy all defense position, monster on your opponent's side of the field. I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy at all. He is very rude. <laughs> Premature burial. Oh boy. Hyper hammerhead. There it is. Here comes a giant rat. I really could use Dark Hole right now. <laughs> oh, even better. This is an awkward situation to be in. Oh, okay, there's Pot of Greed. I even had to throw away Cyber Dragon. I got, like, nothing out of it. Do that for now. Attack the jar. Attack the jar. Alright. If only all the field spells I put in my deck would actually show up when, when my opponent plays a field spell. Nothing I could do to beat over that, so we're just gonna put this down and hope. This is why we want swords. We want to stall. Not yet. Okay, here we go. Now watch me draw no monsters. Dark Zebra, it's back. Dream Clown. Okay. Hang on a second, does it say special summon? Normal summon flip summer is changed defense position, so I don't have a choice. That there. Got YZ. Axe? Ooh, okay, good, good, good. So they're gonna be forced to- I can get Zaborg on the field now. And I can give him the axe, and he should be able to stop this from doing stuff. Wait, is Dream Clown gonna- Crap. Man. Okay. There's frontline base. Double check grave. What do I have in here? Okay, nothing really. I can get my cyber dragon out. Problem is, I need my field spell more than anything. Well. Gonna attack into that thing. Problem is the two face downs back there. Zaborg is gonna end up in defense mode. Hmm. Anything I call with this is gonna be in defense mode. This is such a problem. Even if the axe isn't gonna do anything after all, huh? Still, the effect of removing his monster's good. I leave this thing, and it gets a free effect kill. I leave this thing, and it just beats it beats over what's in front of it. Not really in the best situation here, am I? Well, I've 
probably lost this one, but now I know what to do anyway. All you can do is just give it a try. Don't really have monsters in defense mode for this. That's fine. If he try, hopefully he'll try and just tribute something, uh, summon something. I hope. Okay, let me see what he does. Gilosaurus again. Just gonna bottomless it. I can't let him build up stuff because I have no monsters. Gravity Axe, uh, Growl? Growl? Increase the attack of monster equipped by this by 500 points. Long remains on the field. Monster near opponent's side of the field cannot change battle positions. Uh... Uh, what? Doesn't that kind of conflict with the other thing? Why would he have that? I'm confused. So he's going for the attack rather than the effect. Oh, wait, no, it's when it's attack to defense, not defense to attack. I can't even beat over Dream Clown. Oh, finally. Now I can. No! You scum. I wonder if I should try to bait him with frontline base. I don't know if he'd waste the MST on it though. Well then, I lose. Can't change battle position. So does that mean if I Bring back Zaborg, it won't go through the effect. I have to test this. Okay, but... I guess... I guess effects are, don't count for that. Whatever. Well, I lose. There goes that. This duel is dragging on far too long. I summon Hoshi, it dies. And that's what I'll do, I guess. <laughs> I can put one of these down, maybe it'll bait his back row? No. Stumbling's a very frustrating card. Yeah, it does feel like it. Okay. I don't even think there's anything left in my deck to- oh, that- that could help. Do I wait one turn? He could probably kill me if he summons the right thing, because he has his buff, so... I've already lost anyway. Okay, I no, he has no monsters. Oh, come on! And neither do I. Ah. Uh, you remember that episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh where Joey's dueling the pink-haired guy? And the pink-haired guy takes a long time shuffling his deck, so Joey has like no monsters on his first turn. And it feels like that that shuffle just like messed up his whole deck. That's how I feel like with this duel. Anyways, Reflect Bounder. Put it on field. Don't you dare activate that. I can only have a thousand defense points. Gotta live with it. Change the battle position of all attack position monsters on the field to defense position and vice versa. Positions cannot be changed during this turn. Uh, the turn this card is activated except by effect of spell trap or monster. You can activate this card only during your standby phase. Okay, so he put me in attack mode. That thanks. Do I attack him? 
What if he has a face down? I don't have much of a choice. I'm running out of cards in my deck. I have to do enough damage to him. I have these two to stop him from countering me. I'm just gonna. Have, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't like this duel. He's playing against me. That's mean, chat. I, I I should be able to win for free. Come on. Mobius is probably the bottom card in my deck too. Oh my god, I might actually beat him. I might actually beat him. Wow. I I I really just won that. Don't put down don't put down the field spell. What if he has some something to stop it again and it kills my monsters as a result? Okay, I beat him. New high score bonus. Look at that. Look at that. I lost? Let's duel again. You see that, chat? One win, zero losses. I, that was perfect. I know what you're talking about. Ruler of Beyond. I don't think I want to duel one of them again. They can go the heck. Chaz, you want to duel? Okay, okay we'll duel. I did survive through every monster he had, apparently. That was a very silly duel. Like, half- the first half of the duel, I drew nothing but monsters, and then the bottom, like, half of my deck was just all spells, and I had no monsters left, because his stupid, uh, spells got rid of him. Alright, here we go. Let's hope it's a little bit more weighted, or mixed up properly. I special summon a friend in attack mode. I'm gonna put that down. Heck, why not just put them all down? Take a bite out of that. Ojama Yellow. Ooh, he did not have something to start with. Hit him hard right away. Chaz is who we still need to really raise the heart points for. I'm gonna try and get golden sandwiches if I can for him next time. Okay. I don't need to solemn that. Save the Solemn for if he brings out level 7. I need to do that. Okay, it has to destroy a monster to get that effect off. So we need to do that. Yeah, whatever, I'll take the lost, it's fine. Oh! Okay. Uh, hold up a sec. Can old man stop the special summon itself? Yes, he can, okay. Wait. I can't solemn the special summon? Okay, then, I guess not. Okay then, wish I activated against level up. I was waiting to do use it against the monster summon so he would that would go to the graveyard too, but here we are. All right, reset button it is. Magic jammer. Oh, you piece of you piece of garbage right there. You know what? No. No, no more of that. The old man says no. <laughs> and now he has no cards left, except swords. And I'm gonna call a Haunted. My Cyber Dragon back. I made him go through everything. I think it's clear who the real winner is right now. I'll set you first, just in case. It was all part of my genius plan. Ooh, pot of greed. It was a it was an instance of missing the time in. That's why I couldn't solve them. Oh, that's annoying. Does old man say when? Special summon. Doesn't say when, but I guess the wording of it does make it miss timing in that case. Well, whatever. Either way, the game said I couldn't do it, so I couldn't do it. 
If I would have used a Solemn against level up, it would have worked, but I wanted the monster come out because then he would still have level 7 in his hand or something. I wanted to send level 7 uh, to the graveyard with it. He's gonna attack, really? You poor fool. Too bad uh, W Catapult is not good enough. Oh, now you give me this. And now we have the problem of, uh... Hmm, I suppose it might be fine to attack him, because if he does end on level Arm Dragon level 3, and then brings out level 5, I can, uh, just remove it with Bottomless. I can always just, uh, destroy the whole field again. What is the artwork for Torrential Tribute supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be, like, water, because it's torrential, but, um... I, to me, I always just interpret it as, like, a, like, an explosion of, like, blue magic because all the monsters are on the field are getting blown up. I don't think about these things. I'm just gonna attack him. Alright. Okay, he's going what I think he is for. It's fine. Alright. He's doing the thing. Go directly to hell. Is that a- oh, okay. The art on Bottomless Trap Hole, is that a random goblin or is that supposed to be Hitotsumi Giant? Darn. No, uh, back row to boop in this instance, but, uh, better to put Mobius on the field. Chaz's deck, well, he has a couple of the Ojamas because they're his mascot cards, basically. But otherwise, he runs, uh, Arm Dragon. Mass Dragon is meant to search out the Arm Dragons. And he also runs, uh, the, the Bug Monster. Like flying Kamakiri to search out wind monsters, which is also Arm Dragon. So I attacked him, and that's pretty much it. Snatch Steel. I forgot this card was a thing. I don't think I got one yet. Wow. This would be a really bad way to lose. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't it? Oh, no. You know what I have to do now, right? You know what I have to do. I can either set this and hope I stall another turn, or I throw down Hoshi and blow them both up and hope I draw a monster before he draws a monster. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Hoshi's going in on the field, waving his pride flags. Let's go. Let's go, Hoshi. Yeah! All right, and now we've entered sudden death. <laughs> Old West style. Who draws the first monster? What? Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He can't attack the turn that's activated. Hang on. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Hang on. Does this effect specify face-up monsters? Let's see. B -b 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 -b. One monster card from your hand of the graveyard. Destroy one face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field with an attack equal to or less. Okay, face-up. So, let's do this. And then put monsters face down. Crap. Suddenly not so sudden death. Suddenly slow and painful death. Oh, no. Hang on, that death is getting a bit more sudden. It's picking up its pace. Here we go. Uh, it's approaching death. He doesn't have anything else to play. Oh, he does. He can't activate the effect. Oh, come on! Do I go for killing that? It's probably another recruiter. I should not attack it. 
I absolutely should not attack it. It's either Mass Dragon or Kamakiri. You scum. Oh, now he's got Kamakiri. I already used my Dark Hole, didn't I? Well then. Oh boy. I lose. There's nothing left. Oh, what a pain. What a terrible way to lose. <laughs> he beat top decked. Yeah, he cheated. 56. That's called survival of the fittest, loser. What a bully. What a meanie. I don't like him. I'd have to go burn on his butt later. To the store. Animal mayhem. Check it out. I found this magic flask in the dual goods section. I can deflect opponent's monster's attacks, plus it keeps you soup warm. Totally delicious. We're still on for the tournament, aren't we? You want to talk to me? There we go. Dorothy, Dark Magician Girl action figure goes on sale today. There you go. Hello, Jaden. You think you're gonna score the golden egg sandwich? Alright, let's see if I can pull a sandwich. There we go. I don't see the thing- the symbol there in chat. Or sorry, the- the roulette. I guess I'll duel Chumley. He can't take the XYZ. I don't know your post in there, chat member, but this chat's in English. Animal Mayhem. It's his level two. Lightning Vortex. Well, actual stuff I can use this time. Let him attack. Summon Hoshi, and then get on, on next feel like, bah, boy, can't talk. Then next turn, just get the X head out and it'll be buffed. And there's the forest. Majigiri Panda. What does Majigiri mean? Or Majigire. Shining Angel, yes. Okay. Take that out. Don't have a last will. On this card, may face up on the field. Each time a beast type monster on the field is destroyed, increase the attack of this card by 500 points. Probably doesn't really have anything that bad to take me out with. I just give Hoshi a thing. Don't really need to use that. I'm gonna give Hoshi the axe, because why not? Kill the panda. He never stood a chance. Wait, this panda... This is the uncensored version of the art? Uh... What's different about it in the English version? I haven't heard anything about that. Anyway, that's all I can do this turn. So, end.
X player's turn. Draw a card. Hmm. Just put down Y. Throw down this. And now I guess I can just beat over him. Just barely almost. Uh oh. Change defense position at the end of the phase. Okay. Or end of the battle, I mean. End of the phase is a completely different wording there. I suppose I could have just brought back Angel for the kill, but it's Chumley. Chumley has no no way to play again. Or <laughs> her comeback, I rather I should say. The original art of the card shows the panda attacking its, like, wife and child. What? Really? Also, he's getting the manga back out. Hang on, I need to Google this. I need to Google this right now. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, Maji Gire Panda. Da -da -da. Original art. Hang on a second here. Oh, I see it. Oh my goodness. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta put this on screen. Let me just uh, get, get it here. Of course, it's a WEP file. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, let me just copy and paste it into paint and then put it on screen. so I can save it as an image file. Just call it Panda. Hang on, I'm trying to just display this on screen for y'all to see. Let me see here. Boop, 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 boop. Bear with me for a second. Literally, I have a bear with me. You all need to see this. You need to see this right now. All right, I think I got it. Look at that. They're, they're in the background terrified. That's the original art. <laughs> they, 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 they photoshopped those two out of the back. <laughs> that is, that's awful. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. That is the weirdest Yu-Gi-Oh sensor I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. That is so wild. <laughs> Literally. Wow. <laughs> what card is that? The face is, is the same in the English artwork, by the way. <laughs> Does someone want to tell me what, the, what Maji Gire means? I'm almost afraid to ask now that I've seen it. It means seriously angry. All right. He's gonna summon the Momonga again. Hang on. Let me bring out you now. Let me just fix my seat in here. That is so funny. I mean, no, it's not funny, but you know what I mean, right? This... The circumstance of the sensor is funny, not the... <laughs> Not what's in the card art. Wow. Teddy's had enough. Teddy's had enough. Funny in a hold up kind of way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, the family in the background is now gone. I'm, I think I misread earlier. The, the art in this game is the one that's censored, not the uncensor. That is unfortunately sad, yeah. I think we need a, a wholesome bear. After that, there we go. Hang on, where's a wholesome bear? Let me put a yeah. Then we put a sleepy bear. That's that's a better one. No, I I don't want to hit surrender. That would be so bad to accidentally hit after that. All right, summon the witch. Bear needs his rest.
You got a WebP converter? Excellent, I might need to look at that later. Also, that koala messed up my crap. Let's hit him. What? No, stop it! Oh my god! I can't hit I can't beat over that. Alright, it's fine. Get rid of the bear now. There we go. Rest little bear. Don't worry. Don't be a Majigire panda. Be a wholesome Teddy Ursa. You heard it here first. Can we do this now? How about now? Attack the koala. Attack this. Kangaroo champ, and there we go. No! <laughs> well then, that's unfortunate. Doesn't matter now, I don't have enough, so... I'm just gonna Lightning Vortex them. Alright, there goes all them. Can't you just manually change ex the dot extension from WebP to PNG? No, that never works. Every time I try that, it just says not- it, it just says it's not a real PNG file. Usually what I do is I have like a thing save that lets- that kind of just lets you save it in the original format, but I didn't want to get that out while, while I was on stream. That would have made it take even longer to get the funny panda image. Oh. My. God. Really? Really? We're doing- you're gonna be- Chumley, just die already. Kill him. Kill him. Chumley out here stalling as much as he could. He went through, like, all his little, like, friends there. All right! That was exciting, wasn't it? Wholesome and exciting. Unlike that panda image. Oh darn, I lost. All right, let's buy some packs. I want to say, and then let's see, let maybe try and adjust the burn deck. Is there anything I can get from these anti-effects? Yeah, let's, let's just try opening some of these with that. Maybe we'll get some of that. I'm gonna buy all anti-effect and see what we get. There we go. Gorgon's Eye, Armored Glass, Dispel. Oh! I got the Ultra Rare in the first pack. Well then. That works for me. Rare Metal Morph. Enchanted Arrow. Oh, and I got MST. Nice. There we go. Thank you, Vampy. Twin-headed wolf. Spell canceller. Driving snow. Royal command. There we go. Another dust tornado is kind of useless now that I got the MST, but MST is limited to one. Yay. Gemini Fiend. This was the- yeah, this card. Mystic Probe. You can activate this card when a continuous spell card is activated. Negate all continuous spell cards during the turn this card is activated. Metal Morph. 
Destroy all face-up spell cards controlled by your opponent on the field. For each spell card destroyed, your opponent receives 500 damage. Um, this wouldn't be that great in the burn deck, because that would really depend on whether or not the opponent plays spell cards, I would say. It would be- it would actually combo well if I could destroy my own to inflict damage on the opponent, but... It's like one spell card that remains face up on the field, put a counter on it, this card is removed, destroyed, the counter is removed, and just have the card being destroyed, okay. Gust. Activate this card when one or more of your spell cards are destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect controlled by your opponent. Destroy one spell or trap card on the field. Okay, but Heavy Storm's gonna destroy that anyway. Amplifier. Only equip this card to Jinzo. As long as this card is equipped, the effects of traps controlled by the equipped monster's controller are not negated by the effect of the equipped monster. Okay. Emperor's Holiday. Negate the effect of all equipped cards. Mid Shield Gardener. This only destroys a face up continuous one, pretty much, though. It's not that good. Don't need that. Metal Detector. You can activate this card when a continuous trap card is activated to get continuous trap card during the turn it's activated. Uh, while well, this card is face up on the field, your opponent cannot activate quick play spell cards. Gate the activation and effects of all flip effect monsters. Wow, this would destroy my burn deck, wouldn't it? Morgan's Eye. All effects of monsters in defense position are negated. Okay. Okay. I got that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my- switch to the burn deck for a little bit now. I've done several hours of the XYZ deck and I wanted to play with it for a little more today. Unfortunately, I didn't have the best duels with it, I would say. I mean, there was some good back and forth, but like, it was mostly cheese and, uh, some bad, uh, bad draws. So I'll save this, and when I edit it again, I may gotta make sure I splash in MST and Heavy Storm. Um, button does this here. I hit save. Okay, make sure it's up to date there. And now let's load. We're gonna edit the burn deck a little bit too. Load recipe. The burn deck, who I just call Water. At this point, it would break tradition to change the name. Okay, so what should I get rid of for other stuff? Let me see here. First, let me go find MST. Hang on. Mobius is just kind of dead in my hand most of the time. So I really should just replace Mobius in this deck with, um... Yeah, let me get MST going. Sort by card frame. Let's go down. Spells at the bottom. Mystical Space Typhoon. Mystical Space Typhoon. There's Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm, I don't know if I want to put it in my deck. I mean, it would be a good option for going second, and it could just be a discard cost if I don't want to blow up my own field. I don't know, I can put it in for now. MST is kind of better, though, with the one, one use. It would end up kind of dead a lot. I guess I'll put that away for now. What else? What else? I did want a second copy of Chain Energy, but I never freaking draw it is the issue. Or Just Desserts. Another one there. No, I don't want Dust Tornado. It's too slow. Just replace Mobius with that and everything will be alright. The problem is Nobleman of Crossout also kind of ruins me. Do I have Magic Jammer? Actually, I should put Swords in. Swords and Lightning Vortex and Dark Hole. They could help me control my opponent's monsters so that they, like, can't do much. Plus, combos well enough with, uh, Skull Invitation. Hmm. Dust Tornado is slow, as I just said. Card Destruction lets me do some shenanigans with Skull Invitation. This is more just a slow them down option, so absolutely can swap Shadow Spell with swords. Do I want Dark Hole as well, though? Ah, uh, I'd rather take that over Share the Pain. Okay, what other card can I get rid of here? 
I know, I know about Death Koala. Problem is, I can't open the pack with Death Koala until Chumley is has as much affection as uh, Jaden apparently. Guess I could throw Dust Tornado out now. All right, let's try this. New burn strats with some staples. First, we burn them, and then we go over and click clack them of the stapler. All right, Dual Jaden. Can't get Chumley's pack because of the weird way that this game, um, like, does this. It only allows you to get the character pack of whoever has the highest friendship or affection. So if you get someone high enough to be your partner, it basically forces you to have to max out everyone's affection in order to get the packs now, which is really, really a bad way of doing it. Now then, I could just start with Cyberjar and use that as a backup. I could cyber jar and then flip up just desserts. I'll do that. And this in case he does something bad. Here we go. Reinforcements of the army. I'm gonna stop that. He's thrown down a clay man. Just save cyber jar then. Or I could just flip it up now. Why not? I need to draw some more cards anyway, so this just works out fine. Toll! The teddy bear toll! Alright, chat. Get your sweets out. That bear wants treats for you to pass by. One day I'm gonna make a video game, and I'm gonna make, like, a toll bridge run by, like, a talking bear. And it's just gonna be a reference to how much I bring this up. Okay, he got Torrential Tribute. That's annoying, but whatever. So now I got Nightmare Penguin, who is a good defender. May as well flip this up. Teddy Toll. Alright. Can use this to get Cyber Jar back if I want it, but I don't really need to yet. Playing the Burn deck is fun. I did it for, like, a handful of episodes in a row, so that's why I took a break for and did the XYZ. The XYZ was fun as well. But I didn't really get to use much of the fusions today, huh? The burn deck is also easily, like, the most efficient one of grinding points, I would say. Oh? Not yet. Not yet. Let him cook, as the kids are saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even... Yeah, I don't need to use that. He made Mudball Man. Oh, he thinks he's gonna beat me. He thinks he's gonna beat me. only mud ball man so I bounce it it goes back to the extra deck but then I can stop him from attacking no I want him to attack and pay the toll actually so it'd be more funny I lose 300 points he loses more points I love just putting down this wall of spells and tra spells and traps and watching stupid stuff occur go ahead go ahead bro Go ahead. Deposit all cookies into the bear's paws. It's your only only way you're getting across this bridge. Okay, this will be a decent thing to throw down. Yeah, I pretty much got him. This is nice. Bring snacks for the teddy or you're not getting by. Heck yeah. He's going skyscraper, that won't help him. 
Ooh, so sorry, Jaden, but you lose. Really shouldn't be dueling Jaden. He has the highest hearts. I'm just making it harder to get the the uh, the packs for everyone else. The burn's a little bit better now that I've added some staples. I hope. May as well duel you. First to go, second to go. He chose. I really want to go first with um, the burn deck, because if I can just set up the board, then he has to just pay all so many life points to play. Oh, first turn chain energy is my favorite. First, let's throw this down. There's something really satisfying about watching like a bunch of small effects go off together and just doing damage. All right. Obviously, Heavy Storm can ruin me, so I need to use Solemn to just absolutely stop that at this point. I can't afford to just save it for later anymore. Oops! I, sh I forgot to put the monster down. See? Now, egg on my face. Now I gotta pay 500 to put my own monster down. Oh well. Uh, that should be good then. Yeah, the burn is scalding hot water. That's why it's called water. Not because I forgot to change the name. All right. Everybody's paying this toll now. He can't do anything, though. I told you this would happen. I told you this would happen, didn't I? I need the old man now more than ever. Everyone's like uh, level two deck can just kind of has one of those splashed in. Rocket warrior. Whoa there, Buster, you better watch out. Oops. Five hundred points. Um, I got, I gotta pay my own curse of darkness cost now, but this is fine. He already used up his Heavy Storm, and Heavy Storm is limited to one, so this is okay. I'm a little low on life points. That's the downside of using the old man early on, is you gotta pay so many life points to make it work, but... This should be good. Let's see what happens. I'm willing to, I'm willing to risk it all for the biscuit, chat. Barely any left. I can't even play spell cards anymore. Here he goes. And now it's just a matter of this. Yep, can't activate that now. So now we wait and hope. We hope now. I'm playing risky, but it's been... It's entertaining this way. Oh, Cyrus, you poor idiot. He did it again. He did it again. He killed Thunder Neon Neon. Do I play you as backup? I pretty much only get one summon now. Wait another turn. Rocket Warrior. He can't attack me. He can't beat over. This would cause me to lose. Do I make him deck out or what now? I need to get, like... I need to use my one summon on, like, Needleworm or something. Because I can't afford that die to, like, uh... Skull Invitation. Destroying the bat to a special summon one machine. Why is that six star, those stats? Come on. Only a few turns left now.
Uh, princess. Should be able to do that. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. I can't afford to have to discard soon. So let's hope this will be enough to finish him. No! Cyrus actually got me. That cheeky SOB. I can't believe he did that to me. I can't believe he just pulled a no you. Yeah, yeah, we're taking him out now. That's supposed to be me. I'm supposed to finish them with just desserts. I... I'm so upset. I took a risk. I took a risk on the first turn, and I have to live with the consequences. It would have, it would have been better if I just let Heavy Storm go off, apparently. Ooh, okay, here we go. Ooh, there's MST. Okay... Skull Invitation, Gravekeeper, Servant, and Needleworm, turn one. That's pretty good. Let's go with that. And I already can recycle Needleworm. See, that's the fun of the burn deck. Sure, stupid stuff can happen like that, but it's entertaining when I lose as well. And I forgot to flip up Skull Invitation. I wasn't holding down X. That one doesn't auto-prompt like other trap cards. Because they don't want it to be too annoying. Oh well. This is fine. There we go. Alright. Throw that one down. And then I'll activate this. And do another one. Get skellied. And I guess I'll just bop one of his back rows if he's going to be cheeky with me. Magic Cylinder. <laughs> I wouldn't have activated that. Pot of Greed. No Curse of... I wish he had this stuff when I had Curse of Darkness up. Is he really gonna go for it? Good job, Cyrus. Good job. He killed his waifu again. Well then! Chat, you wanna see a murder? Poor Cyrus. Seems you have a case of the worms there. Don't worry, it's about to get worse. Life points gone, kid. Ooh, and we can end on Princess. And I win. And now we win. Just attack the Princess, and your life is over. There we go. Defeated. Like you should be. 302. I lost. Still got a lot to learn. Alright, talk to him normally. Oh yeah, I already got that, so... I got melon sandwich. You can have that. Alright, good. Did I have anything for you? Give him this. Fifty points. Oh, I see the gold one. There we go. All right, there's one for Chaz. I seem to have a good sense of rhythm for getting these right away. Do I see the card one? Yeah, I do. 
Dizzy Angel card. Thank you. Oh, I already have too many sandwiches. Okay. Now I got that. Uh, I already gave him a sandwich at this location. I don't think it would actually count if I did it now. But I do want to kill him with the burn deck. Let's go do that. A duel? You'll live to regret it. The card, the plain sandwich has literally has a card inside the sandwich. So I take the card out and it's just plain bread. And apparently that's one of Zane's favorites. The weak and strong. Ooh, just desserts. Gonna end him with that. All right. Hmm. This isn't... This is a dangerous assortment to have here for this. I think the cards from the plain sandwich are like anime only, and they put them in the video game. They weren't actually ever printed. Set just desserts. card destruction. I'll probably discard this for something later. I'll just do this. Yeah, let me get a drink. He's going with level 3. He's going to attack. I forgot to flip up Curse of Darkness right away. Yeah, a lot of cards in this game have some weird translations from their printed versions because you gotta, you gotta remember that the card game in Japan was further along than the card game in English. So some cards in this game weren't actually printed in English yet, so the translations will be incorrect. That's how you get things like uh, Elemental Hero Eric and Madball Man. Okay. Now we'll put down Yomi Ship. I don't remember how far ahead uh, the card game got, but I, I remember someone at, someone at some point said that um, that in order to get the card game in English caught up to the one in Japan, that they would actually just skip translate translated a lot of cards in the early days when it was just mostly like crappy vanilla monsters. That's why like the some of the random cards like the other like. Uh, the other Skull Servant is in the video games, but not, like, actually, like, a printed card. In English, anyway. So this is just a very short loop, I guess. Just keep throwing down Yomi Ship. I have the life point lead. Using Solemn Judgment is such a gamble with this deck, as you can see. Oh! That's, uh, good for me. No, I'll flip just desserts after. We got level up, Ojama green. Ojama yellow. Arm dragon level 5, arm dragon level 3. Set that here. Hold up a sec, let me just set my monsters. Ooh, nice, Needleworm. He hasn't played a spell card. I feel like every time I get Curse of Darkness, the AI never plays spell cards. But I know the AI is dumb enough to play them anyway when it does get them, so it's literally just bad luck and not the AI being smart. English also just had massively larger sets, like Legend of Blue Eyes was multiple OCG sets combined into one, and many of the old set cards were never printed at all, like I said. Yeah. There we go. Um... I'll wait until this third. Okay. He takes a thousand. Take fifteen hundred. Five hundred. Pretty much got him now. 
Oh, yep, yeah, see what I mean? Told you. He just he just ended himself there. Look. Speaking of cards, yeah, I think I mentioned earlier, I got some new binders. I was going to sort some of my Pokemon cards later. The Scarlet and Violet Pokemon card sets come out in like a few months, so I wanted to try and finish my entire collection of the Sword and Shield ones. There we go. I haven't been able to like get proper binders for some of the newer sets though. Like they just released uh, this week the newest set, like the last set for Sword and Shield. It's called like Crown Zenith. They've been doing a lot more like full trainer art cards as well that look sick. Here we go. I beat Chaz. May as well talk to him and give him a sandwich. Time to get ready for tomorrow. All right, looks like that's that. Let's go to bed, cat. It's been a long day. Advanced uh, note, end the day. There we go. I think I have a real chance of completing my uh, entire Sword and Shield era sets. Like, I even when I got some of the Shining Fates packs, I got the, like, several hundred dollar Shiny Charizard card. So, I already have, like, one of the most expensive ones taken care of. <laughs> I still have to order a bunch online. Okay, raw yellow, it should be there. Hello, cat. Meow, pet his head. Didn't seem to like it. Well then, how about a sausage sandwich, I guess? Okay. I guess I can give Zane the plain sandwich. How are things going? It can be pretty scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. You'll listen. Maybe I should try the burn deck against Zane again. Watch that blow up in my face. Have some plain bread. Yes, this is good. <laughs> okay. Let's duel him. Alright. I accept your challenge. Here we go. First to go, first to go. I don't even really get to play any Pokemon cards. I mostly just collected them. I don't really have a place to play them, as I said before. There we go. Set this down here. I just like the pretty artwork. Also, something that's been really nice. I don't know if you all saw the news about this, but, um... Starting with the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards, they're getting rid of the yellow border and, and uh, actually using the Japanese cards as, like, silver border on all cards. Which is good, because it looks hideous. The yellow one, I mean. Um, I guess I'll just fill the field by doing this. Unless he Nobleman of Crossouts me, but that's what Solemn Judgment is for. Okay. He's going Cyber Dragon. Yeah, attack it, Zane. Attack it. Oh. Well. This is fine. Forgot he had Jinzo. Is Jinzo limited to one in this game? I can't remember if that was uh, Dual Academy or this. Uh oh. Okay. You got magic cylinder. Was that snatch steel? I didn't see if he drew snatch steel there, but uh, whatever. Let's go. Jinzo limited to one. Okay. Nice. I just gotta have the life point lead, and then just hold down the fort. He saw what cards I had, and he attacked them both. Hmm. 
Better to send you back, because you're only Cyber Dragon on the field. Alright, nice. We got Teddy Bear Tolls active now. Hmm, can't put them all down, huh? Solemn Judgment. Set the Penguin. Pay the toll. Teddy Bear Toll. I'll burn him for this this turn. And do that this turn. I'll burning land next turn is when I have a more demanding lead. Okay, let's go. Zane does seem to have an answer for everything. Let me just see. Put it. Okay, good. He put a monster down. Nope, not that one. Get him for 1500. And there we go. You want to fight Zane? Then you better pay the bears. Uh oh. That only hits. Um. <laughs> um, do I want to do that? Do I want to protect these two? At the cost of half my life points here. I think I should. I shouldn't, like, give up my wall of monsters. Because what if the Yomi ships don't hold out when he gets a strong monster on board? Then I'm just, like, kind of dead. I'll do it. Send it to the, the graveyard there. 300 for you. 300 for me. Alright, nice. And there we go. Slowed him down. Okay, and now I have a Lightning Vortex. Hang on a second. Alright, thought I was gonna sneeze there, but I'm good. It might be kind of foolish to play Burning Land, which is exactly why I should play it. Your move, Zane. <laughs> uh oh. And that's why I wanted to protect all my monsters. Because if he did that, I'd be wide open. We summon in Proto. Ooh. The only thing more amusing than one burning land is two burning lands. Which is exactly why I should play it. Pay a thousand life points to exist. He's attacking. Oh, look at this idiot! He's attacking! 300. Ooh, reflect damage. How pathetic. Hmm, I'm sorry. Was there an opponent in front of me? I thought there was an opponent in front of me. I love doing that. I love just setting everything on fire and seeing who dies first. You're better than I thought. Yes, sir. Come on, cat. May as well talk to Alexis. Burn, burn, burn to the ground. Burn to the ground. Dueling. You're just the person I was looking for. You had a great talk. All right. Wait until the Slifer crew just leaves. That matters too much. Hey, there's a strange card in my deck. Oh, not this again. Do I have any veggies for you? Not really. Garlic? I'm gonna try giving him garlic. Yeah, alright, he liked it. 
Let's try dueling him. I, I haven't dueled his new deck enough to know if the burn's better or worse for it. I just remember his first deck was actually really bad for the burn deck, I feel. He was able to kind of just beat over a lot of stuff. Go first. Water. Here we go. Ooh, two Gravekeeper Servants, huh? Let's start with this. This will go good if I could get my hands on, uh, Skull Invitations, but whatever. This is how we're rolling now. I want to hold down X so I can prompt this right away. Nice. Teddy Bear Toll. If it's a- it, wait, if Toll is, is about Teddy Bears, does that mean all my other burn cards are about bears? What about Burning Land? Am I just setting their whole- like, their forest on fire? That's messed up. Imagine if the artwork was just a bunch of Teddy Ursas on fire running and screaming. This is a PSP game. Oh, he drew Heavy Storm. He drew Heavy Storm. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm dead. Oh boy. You've burned the teddy bear picnic. Oh no. The teddy ursus are just like, why? Why did you have to play like this? Alright. You know it would be really funny? Yeah. If I did this again. I'm gonna make him deck out at this rate. Do it again, I wasn't looking. It's turn two and Cyberjar has gone off twice. I did want to make try making a dedicated deck out deck, but I haven't been able to wasn't able to pull any copies of Chainsaw Insect. Oh. Oh, he put it face down right. He's at 18 cards there. Ooh, let's add to the fire. I don't even know what's happening now. That goes back to my hand. His hand is huge there. This is fine. Took a hit there, but it's all right. Okay. I'm on fire. I'll end on card destruction. That'd be funny. Hmm. Definitely want to set that. Problem is... <laughs> Problem is, yeah. I need my one space in order to play card destruction. I know he has Heavy Storm in his hand, so I, I have to get rid of it. That's the issue. Plus, at this rate, I'm already set up to kind of let him die this way, but the problem is I won't be able to defend otherwise. I'd have to draw something really good. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Set Pot Agree to activate destruction with what space? And he had Magic Jammer. The back row was full. That's why this is a dilemma. There we go. Well, situation resolved itself. Ooh. That also works. No, it's fine, friend. I'm not going to make fun of you for it. Hmm. So he's going to activate Heavy Storm now. I guess I'm gonna have to set old man judgment and deal with that when it happens now. Okay, here we go. Yep, there it is. It's gonna be risky. Yep. 
You can just say he no to Heavy Storm. And I've lost anyway. If I would have put down swords, ugh, I wouldn't have, I've had to pay the life points for Dark Hole, and yeah, that's fine. Oh well, we did. Hmm. I was close to making him deck out. It would have been funny if I could. The problem with that one is that I clogged my own back row too much to be able to do anything. Well, he enjoyed the duel anyway. Okay. Let's go find Chaz and give him the gold sandwich. Where you at, Chaz? Where you at? Why don't you drown in the ocean? I thought we were friends, my dude. Make sure to do it in an isolated place so no one knows. What? Then Detective Chaz will wrap up the case when he finds you. Yo, dude, what's your problem? You know what? You're not getting a sandwich until next time now. <laughs> okay. Is this how he talks to his friends? That is not wholesome. Here we go. All right then, I don't know how to react to that information still. Set down the poison mummy. His effect is uh, level seven dragon effect will probably be annoying, so I'll have to do this to stop it when it comes out. Five hundred. Uh oh. All right then. Go on, take my monster. See if I care. I'm not gonna attack it. I'll set the penguin first. I don't have my uh, back row fully set up here. Burn, baby, burn. Five hundred. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. Let me just boop that back row there. What was it? Pajama Trio. Okay. Hardly makes much of a difference there. Come on, Chaz, do something cool. Do something cool. The teddy bear toll. Put it down. He's not even attacking. What is he doing? Did he just not draw, like, anything? Or does his AI, like, not really know how to deal with playing defensively? Usually he just always like reacts to me being aggressive with uh, his dragons and recruiter. All right then. I don't even want to put that down. I don't want to give up all my monsters. Come on, Chaz, do something. Do something, Chaz. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Maybe he just has nothing but ojamas. He would at least put them in face down defense if he had them though, right? Come on, Chaz, you're gonna attack me. You gotta attack me. The teddy bears are waiting. Oh, oh okay. What do you get rid of? level up. He must have drew a really bad hand, because he is not doing anything, and he's always able to do something. He's not even just passively putting a monster in face-down defense. There it is. 500. 
We definitely want, don't want a dark hole. That sounds fun. I hope you enjoy your cards there. Just desserts. Okay, this will help speed things up because apparently Burning Land is going to be what kills them. Put another monster down, Chaz. Oh, now he's putting a recruiter up. Now he's attacking. No, save that for the finishing blow. This is actually very good. Oh, wait, no, I have no, no target. Who's gonna win first? 2,000 life points. Just summon another monster. Or rather, I need him to be able to die to just desserts. So I need him to... Yep, okay, there we go. And I won. That was a funny duel. Three, four, four. Look at that. Impossible! I was going easy on you. Don't push it. All right, Chaz. Because we'll talk to Zane again. Well, I guess Z uh, Chaz doesn't really know what to do with the uh, the burn deck. I guess. I didn't think you'd come this far as a duelist. Here we go. You had a great talk. Great talk. Matt, almost 1,500 duel points. No. I keep getting stuck in that small, like, space there. Alright, let's get some points with these two lads. You had a great talk. Do I have an item for you? I don't know, curry? Alright, nice. He likes curry. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate that. Duel? Okay. He knows he's gonna get beat down again, for sure. First to go. He's so excited to have his day ruined by my little can of gasoline. Penguin first. Does Chumley even use any spells? I don't even know if using that's, like, gonna do anything. But why not? Why shouldn't I take the chance to make ruin his day? Hey, there it is. He finally got his field spell. 1,000 points. Oh, it's the panda. It's that panda again. So when the panda was in Japan, it still had a family, but when it came over to America, the family uh, didn't come with it. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. So I could Burning Land, it would hurt me, but it would also get rid of his his forest, which is uh, amusing to me, which is why we should do it. That was the aftermath. The family finally left him. End turn. I can see why they uh, altered that artwork. I didn't even realize that artwork was like even changed. Okay, just that there. Usually it's just like they cover up like a uh, like harpy lady's outfit or something. I didn't realize they made like, like they censored a card like that. There we go. The original. Hang on. I think I still have the picture saved here. Yeah, there it is. Hang on. Yeah. 
The original has, like, a wife and child crying in the background while he's angry. It's so messed up. That is so messed up. Oh my goodness. It's so messed up, I can't help but laugh at it. Not wholesome. That is not Teddy-tastic right here. We like bears on this channel. We like happy bears. That panda is officially banned from all bear events that I host. Anyways, I got nothing to do. In turn. Do do. Only two monsters. Don't need to activate that yet. Can't pay the teddy toll. This princess is gonna spike them. Let's go with that. There's a few that were completely reworked because the OCG art was too bad. Not just minor outfit changes. What other ones were completely changed? I think there was a... I can't remember the name of the card, but there was one that had... Like, I think the original artwork showed, like, a guillotine for chopping off someone's hand, and they just completely made different artwork for it altogether. Final Flame. Was Mystic Tomato different as well? Some of the more of the panda cards were alcohol related. Nothing to activate there. I guess I'll just put down this and hope he attacks me. Chumley does not want to attack my cards. Out of greed. No, I don't need to activate that. Curse of Darkness will burn him for a bit. I need to save just desserts as, like, the finish them off option. Almost. I think I pretty much got him now, yeah. Flip up, princess. I know that DN Keto, the Cure Master, had completely different artwork, right? I remember that when I played, like, Reshef of, uh... Reshef of Destruction. I remember... Was it Reshef of Destruction or Reshef of Darkness? I can't remember. Crap. It was some, like, evil word that started with the D. Oh, this is bothering me now. Yeah, that game, whatever it was called, had, a. Uh, uh, it had a uh, different art, the original artwork of Dian Kino. It was Destruction? Okay. For some reason, my brain was like, was it Darkness or Destruction? Another game that people want me to replay. I'm still open to do that. Maybe it'll be part of the sub-goal. There we go. And I think next month, I maybe want to replay Falsebound Kingdom, this time playing Kaiba's campaign first. I've been listening to a lot of the uh, Falsebound Kingdom music, and it's so good, it makes me want to play it again. The benefit of replaying it by doing Kaiba's campaign first is because if you, whoever's character you play as second, you get all the monsters carried over from the first campaign. So you essentially have no reason to use a lot of the unique monsters that only appear early game for that character. So you have to play it very differently. Okay, Chain Energy turn one, that's good. Getting a lot of my Just Desserts lately. I can have a double meaning depending on how you look at it. Hmm. Do I want to set Dark Hole as a backup plan? Maybe when I do that. Yeah, I'll just set it, why not? How long ago did I play Falsebound Kingdom? I don't remember how many years it's been. I don't even- I feel like I don't even remember, like, how that game, like, went. Bait Doll. Force the activation of one face-down trap card. If the timing of the activation of the trap card is incorrect, negate the effect and destroy it. If it is not a trap card, it is returned to its original position. After this card is activated, it is placed into the deck, not the graveyard. The deck is then shuffled- What kind of an effect is this? What? That's a very weirdly specific effect that, like, just use MST if 
you want to get rid of a card in the back row. Okay, then. The Teddy Toll. Let's get it. First episode was, like, August of 2020. Oh, man, that's almost three years ago. Like, two and a half years ago. You want to get technical. Okay. Don't need to activate Dark Hole. We can just end turn there. I remember around the same time I played Banjo, and I want to replay Banjo and do that better, too. Alright, he's activating that. Well, then. Oh, no! All these cards are in my hand now. Falsebound Kingdom was always just a game that, like, I rented as a kid, but I could never beat, and beating that on stream was a very satisfying experience. Although, except the problem, I kind of- sometimes I was kind of forced to use the Konami code to kind of get extra money, because some missions, like late-game missions and that, were just straight-up kind of cheap. And you could literally just enter the Konami code at any point during gameplay, and, like, Yugi or Kaiba's, like, Japanese voice actor laughs. And then you just get money. So you just input it over and over to do that. It's really kind of annoying that I had to do that. So I think if I replay, I'm going to make that a rule to not do that. The game is absurdly slow, so it's easy to get impatient if you die and have to restart the mission. Do that. Okay, take that there. Hmm... Do I dark hole? You better put this down. No one really cared that I used the Konami code, because everyone universally agrees the game is, like, kind of slow and unfair at times. I don't think I do 100% monsters. I'm told that that is, like, abysmally boring to do. But that could be something we could do. You know what we could do? I could play Fallsbound Kingdom, and I can make one of the sub-goals I want to do next month. Could be just replaying Reshef. That would get people to sub for that. There we go. I guess this is good enough here. Did I not activate the Skull Invitation? Oh, no. I said it this turn. Silly me. I have no sense of time. Distracted. Okay. One day I'll play Forbidden Memories as well. One day. That game is just very, very weird, though. Well, then. That's unfortunate. Nope. I hit the wrong button. And Duelist of the Roses I'll try one time as well. I'm pretty sure Falsebound Kingdom uses music from Duelist of the Roses. Oh, I can just activate again. I, right, I forgot Malfunction doesn't destroy. Silly me. In fact, I'm pretty sure that some character portraits from Duelist of the Roses are recycled for, um... Straight-up recycled for Fallsbound Kingdom. Early Yu-Gi-Oh! games were like a weird Wild West of we can make whatever we want. Strategy RPG? Yeah, sure, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh! is about. They share music, portraits, and even, uh... Music portrait models, even the progression system. I'll give it a try sometime. There we go. Gyroid. Some missions in that game you really had to cheese, though. Like, I remember there was a late-game boss where every time I would just have to repeatedly enter combat against it. So it would use its polymerization item, which is limited, by the way. And after that would happen... Hang on, I can just finish him with that. No, I can't. With that. And then I would run away from the battle and enter it again so he'd use up another one until he was out of that so I didn't have to fight his stupid fusion monster. <laughs> it was very stupid. Anyways, I win. He literally can't play a card or attack. All I gotta do is flip up the mummy and I win. Oh. Well, I, I still win, Cyrus. 
You know why I still win? Because the effect goes off, and Trap Hole going to the graveyard also would have done damage to you. I've tried looking at the... The World Championship games, those weren't really good on the Game Boy Advance, I feel. I, I, I tried looking at it, and I feel like it was too sluggish and primitive looking. I know, like, the gameplay was the basis for Duel Academy, but, like, Duel Academy was, like, more refined of that, the Game Boy Advance systems. I feel. Reshef was just straight up a completely different game. Didn't try to be, the, like, the real card game. Uh, I guess I don't really have anything for him. People have asked me if I do Reshef again sometime. So I'll probably sh might as well get those free views. People want me to heck, people want me to replay Digimon World again. Which I am open to, because that game is a trip that I don't mind going through sometime. Main gate. I may as well just go somewhere and start class. Go to the classroom. It's time for class. Cyrus, what must you have in a duel? I know, respect for your opponents. Right. Respect your enemy and respect yourself. Yes, sir. Ha ha ha. That's it. Hi, Mina. Welcome. I don't need the dual dean. Is Nova around? Nova's never around when I want to beat his butt down. I have a cat. Reviewing today's lesson? Talk to me. I guess I'll give him the gold sandwich now. Actually, I'm gonna save. I haven't done that in a little bit. Save complete. Where are you at? Obelisk, if they're elite, I'm like a superior elite. Don't you agree? You told me to drown this morning, Chaz. You wanna hear my story? Yeah, I do. You want my gold sandwich? What, you're giving me the sandwich? Would you put poison in it? Hmm, I always thought you were a loser. Looks like you might, might not be so bad anyway. All right. There we go. Oh, you're caught up on Pandora? That's good. We'll do some more of that in a while. And hopefully when I get to the next boss, it won't be weird and janky and make me mad. Talk to Zane. Let's try dueling Zane again. My phone's fully charged. Let me just unplug that. Hang on. Did I have this thing? Oh, I didn't have it muted the whole time. There we go. Let me just turn that off. Would have been bad if I got a spam call during these past couple hours. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna set this down. Throw these down. And the teddy bear toll. This message is highlighted because Teddy. Hang on, let me get a drink. Mm. Water is good. Water is your friend. Um, okay, that should be good. Now let me just activate Skull Invitation right away. Hopefully I don't get heavy stormed. Um, that's fine. I can live with that. He wasted on one monster, and he's only, only gonna hit me with Proto. Yeah, Pandora's Tower is honestly a really good game. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's not performing super great when I upload it, but it's one of those things. It's one of those obscure games that I'm just glad I decided to check out. Let me put this down. 
It's basically like playing a, a, a brand new 3D Zelda in a way. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Let me just activate my stuff here. The other skull invitation, I mean. There we go. I have been finding the last few bosses, though, have just been kind of weird. Uh, like, design-wise, where I, where I try to aim the cursor at the thing to send the chain, and it just decides to not work. And now we gotta deal with Cyber Twin. Pay the toll. Pay the teddy toll. <laughs> I'm in danger. 600, 300. This is fine. Ooh, he's gonna hit me again. I have Dark Hole. Don't worry. Ooh, stings. I need to activate that. Okay, there's Princess. Will she be enough? Hmm. First, let me just activate Dark Hole here. Take 300 from that. Ugh. That's what's risky now. I gotta burn him first. So... With two skull invitations, if he crashes into Needleworm after t after a toll, I pretty much win. So I gotta put it all on that. Just desserts on one monster could be finish him up finish him off too. Things don't go well. All the haunted. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I shouldn't have let him do that. Okay, now there's a problem. No skelly on that. Yomi ship would destroy it if he crashes into it. Can also send it back to his hand because he's going to summon another monster. This is why we keep backup plans. Yeah, he did go for a second monster. Perfect. Perfect. Activate the effect. Okay. Send you back. Send you back. The skull invitation goes off. It's gonna be tight here. He had to discard. Alright, perfect. He, I doubt he's gonna get Jinzo on the field again, but... If he uses his one attack on Princess, he's dead. So that's the safest option, let's go. Hello friend, welcome. Oh, he did nothing? Sorry, nothing. I flip princess, I win. Hey! No need. We got him. Okay, what was I talking about before I got distracted? Right, Pandora's Tower. The game is so good. I like it a lot. That's my thoughts. <laughs> You're better than I thought. Guess I underestimated you. Perfect. Let's go up there. Uh, I already talked to him while he was there. I didn't talk to Bastion over here yet, I don't think. I should probably go get myself some more sandwiches, too. He had a great talk. I was trying to think of what plans I should do for the weekend. I'm probably going to take tomorrow off to uh, work on something and try and get some of the longer streams uploaded. I edited down that, uh... That Castlevania ROM hack, it's like just under six hours. So that's gonna be a monster to get uploaded. Um 
talk to everyone over here. Let's see. What do I use for videos? What do you mean by that? Do you mean like recording? OBS? Talk to Cyrus. Wait, oh, wow. Oh, he gave me a Steam Gyroid? Why? Now we can both use it. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Which editing software? Oh, I just use Adobe Premiere. Buy sandwiches. Don't see anything special there. There we go. I need to make some catching up on editing this week because that whole shenanigans with uh, Dylan getting his channel hacked last week, I got like nothing done. So um, if I get my February videos done, they're not gonna be out on the first, that's for sure. Sausage sandwich, darn it, keep getting crap. Not the variety I wanna give. I don't even remember what Chaz likes outside of the gold sand. Oh, I see one. Darn, I missed it. And I don't see it again. Oh, um, well, you have too many sandwiches. Time to give some away. Uh... Top grade goose liver. I don't know, you want goose liver? This is licious. There we go. Yeah, I've just used the same editing software for probably like uh, 10 years. I learned how to use it in high school, so that's just what I stick with. I know people also like Sony Vegas, but a lot of people I've talked to that use that for editing their videos say it crashes all the time. I can't remember the last time Premiere crashed on me. I think the older version used to crash a lot and it pissed me off. Give him this. You're giving me this sandwich? I'm gonna have it right now. Oh, no jingle? Why? Sony Vegas does crash a lot, can confirm. Think you're gonna get the golden egg sandwich? I was close to it, Jaden. Does that mean I maxed his hearts out? Like, he's actually at 100%, though. Oh, give it, getting the card from him means 100%? Did anyone else give me a card, then? Hang on, let me check the dorm. That would explain why he gave that to me, so let me check. How did I max out Cyrus's first? I thought his was, like, kind of lower compared to other characters. That I already partnered with. Uh, database. List of duelists. Yeah, Cyrus is maxed. Jaden is just like a little slice of a heart right there away. Chumley like a third of a heart. Alexis loves me, but she just doesn't love me that much yet. Chaz is coming around. Bastion is at his last heart. Zane also loves me. Okay, so we're making progress with this. The goal is to get everyone's heart smacked out before we do finish part one. Made it this far. May as well keep going with it. Let's bully this guy, just because I feel like it. Bully? That's right. Third dragon. Dating sim is almost done. You can start the card game soon. Heck yeah. All right, then. I got skull invitation, so I'll put that down. All right, we're going to put this down, and we're going to have a swell time. Flip that up. No, 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 no. 
I was trying to hold down X to uh, prompt this, but it didn't go in in time. So now, uh, yeah. So now I don't get the free 1,000 burn from that. Thanks, game. Well, there goes those. Wait, what? You're making 1,000 dragon? Your deck name is Third Dragon. There is a very big difference. A 997 difference, my friend. Oh, and now you're tripping in for another one. 300. He's discarding everything now. Yay! Now I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> Alright, better put the penguin down and bounce that. So we got a monster attributed. Look at it, look at him go. Set that. Get cursed. Dark Blade. At least in the context of early fusions, um, Thousand Dragon actually feels like the monsters are doing, like, the materials did something together. Like, Time Wizard increased time to go fast or, like, forward, so that Baby Dragon aged to Thousand Dragon. Meanwhile, other fusions are just like, uh, what if Potted Plant and Paperclip make Ogre? That's what it feels like. Anyways, since he attacked with that, we want to bounce you, because that destroys that. Ooh, the Teddy Toll. It may cost me 2,000 life points, but Teddy Ursa needs his cookies. And that is the reason I'm justifying this. Want to fight about it? I may have lost. I regret nothing. Ooh. Now I can't afford to lose one card. Yeah, I pretty much lost. Darn, that feels bad. My only hope now is that he just activates a spell. It's over. And there we go. Darn. I shouldn't have went for the extra toll. I got greedy. I wanted it to be funny. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep your win. I don't want to really duel around here. What the main gate? Can I burn anybody here? Do you want to be set on fire? Oh, it's Nova. He always wants to be set on fire. I wasn't expecting that Slifer to get turn 1000 dragon and then like uh, his Kiryu and Dark Blade combo. That's kind of funny. He probably had the best possible hand his deck would even allow. Ooh, stuff. I like stuff. Hmm. Nova likes to set his face downs, but he doesn't like to attack. I'll set this anyway, because I don't have much. No, no, stop that. I'll activate this. Show me what you got, boyo. You're getting burned alive. That thing. Right now he doesn't even gotta wait a turn. He's just gonna draw all the cards. He's just gonna give me life points. 
corpse of the Yanagarasu. And then there's Needleworm. Let's make him deck out before he can draw that. 500. Always oh, going Thunder Dragon. Wow, he really has nothing. Um, okay. Just keep waiting now. 500. Swords are revealing light. I don't think I need that. Just keep waiting. We'll, we'll get him eventually. He doesn't even have his draw cards now. I, I, I guess I'll set you now. Just gonna wait. 500 points per hit. Or per turn. Eventually it'll kill him. Until he gets a reverse exchange of spirit, whatever it's called. Okay, Curse of Darkness. That I definitely want down against him. Princess can now do a thousand damage to him. Just activate a spell. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Jar of Greed. <laughs> he has nothing. Old Man No. So now I'm gonna set Old Man No, and when he activates Exchange of Spirit, we're gonna say no. I'll never see it coming. Can make him deck out if he decides to just go with that. Just keep waiting. Nova is either super fast with this deck or just miserably slow. We're gonna need to speed this up now, buddy. Flip the princess. She throws a crystal at ya. Bada bing, bada boom. May as well attack with her. It's pretty pitiful when princess has to attack. He's not doing anything. Flip the mummy, end my turn, and I win. Looks like that's that, buddy. He just stood there and, and watched me play the game. 350. I lost, but I will only get better. I'm sure you will. Once he learns how to play the game. And destruction, rising insects. You know what? I dueled you once, apparently, a blue moon ago. Let's try dueling you. Sometimes the obel obelisk girls just have, like, really stupid cards. Remember that time I dueled someone, and I don't know if it was her. I think it's the one that hangs out outside the dorm. She used Metamorphosis into Thousand Eyes Restrict, and uh, that was not cool. That was a certified cringe moment, if you ask me. Ooh, mostly monsters. So I don't really know what this person does, but they're probably going to attack my hand. Which is kind of mean when you think about it. Set that down. What you got? Two face down cards. Only one single card in your extra deck. Not one monster you run at three copies, just one card. I wonder what that is. We're setting up a defense. Let's go. MST. Mate, I don't know what you're running in the back there, so let's go ahead and just, uh, poop it. Oh! You were running old man no. Okay. Tell her me shocked. Hope you're not running nobleman. 
time seal. And they take the ban list as a suggestion. Well then. Come on, Yumi, attack me. Attack me, Yumi. Hit me. You coward. Seems we have reached an impasse. Oh. I still have more cards than you on the field. Do something about it. <laughs> that was kind of a waste of a heavy storm. Just one skull invitation and a gravekeeper servant. Ooh, this will be good. Do I want to set it up yet? Uh... We need something to happen, so let's do it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Up that out. Not Yomi ship. Uh, Firestorm Monarch. When this card tributes summon, discard one random card for your opponent's hand. If this card discarded card was a monster, inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to level times 100. Oh. Goodbye, Lightning Vortex. Oh, did you hit the Yomi ship? I have a sinking feeling that's gonna ruin your day. Well, I don't think I want to put you face down right now. Don't- no need to throw these guys away. Chat, it is turn 16, and we both have 8,000 life points. I'm not a math expert, but I think this equation equals don't duel Yumi again. Oh, you got rid of that. All right, all right, all right here we go. Ooh, the teddy toll. Hand over your cookies and sweets. I did damage. Teddy toll. Well, here we go again. If I send it back, you're just gonna normal summon it with the ca with the counter again, so I just wanna remove a body. Now it makes no difference. She can't she can't beat over these. <laughs> I think Yumi has a deck that's built around the expectation the opponent the opponent plays aggressively. Clearly. Well, there's my solemn judgment, but don't think I want to use that unless it's an extreme emergency. Time seal, doesn't matter. Time seal's at one, right? Because if it was, like, multiple copies, you could make it so your opponent literally just has no way to play the game. Or something like that. Pay the bear. You know what I need to do sometime? If When I have time to, like, do baking, I wanted to see if I could get, like, um, some kind of, like, Teddy Ursa shape, like, head-shaped cookie cutter and make Teddy Ursa cookies. Like, get the right, like, order, like, the right, uh, colored frosting and everything. That would be so cute. I'd love to do that. Sounds delicious. I couldn't sell them. I can't really ship cookies to my viewers. Pardon me. Try and not to sneeze here. Hang on. Okay, I'm good. Ugh, that was painful. Do I want to stop this? Oh, your opponent's hand. B -b -b -b. No. I don't need to do anything about it. Well then, I'll just put this down. I can't believe I have to rely on a single toll for her. Hey, the Teddy Toll. Teddy Ursa cookies would be so freaking wholesome. 
I could use a cho I could use chocolate chips for like the little eyes and the nose because her little beady. I could get like a little chocolate button and then just put a little little dot of like uh, white frosting for to, for the highlight of the eye. That would be so cute. See, I'm thinking about it right now. Look at me go. Okay, there's the monarch. Here's my Yomi ship. Okay, the toll. Yeah, cho uh, chocolate for the inner ear. That'd be cute. Drop off. Card they drew. Yeah, go ahead. Wow, Yumi, you are... It is turn 27. Just, like, give it up already. <laughs> I don't want to use Cyber Jar unless for emergencies. No, I could just use Frosting for the Teddy Ears' little moon. Okay, the Toll. Teddy Bear Toll! Burning Land, huh? Well, this will probably speed things up a tad. Looks like I probably have just like one more turn before I have to throw down Cyber Jar. Here she goes. She hasn't even damaged me yet. Uh oh. Hold up a sec. Destroy one spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field, but it cannot attack the turn and activates this effect. Oh, you're gonna ruin everything. But I'm not paying 4,000 life points to stop it. Okay, you got rid of Toll. That's fine. I still haven't taken damage, no. Somehow. Oh, there it is. Finally. Okay, so now we're gonna set this, and we're gonna just nuke the field. comes. Destroy that. You didn't attack the Cyber Jar. Alright, fine. I'll do it myself. No, I'm not gonna negate my own summon. Skull Invitation. Dark Hole. Penguins. Ooh. Ooh. You got one monster. Wow. It's not like I'm gonna attack you, though. Uh, I doubt you're gonna put anything really face down, so let's do this. Then do this, and uh, I guess now we hope this speeds up. Activate Skull Invitation. Activate Curse of Darkness. Now, let's see you do nothing. That is quite unfortunate. Um, hold on. Does the wording say it's activated? So you still gotta pay the cost anyway. Yeah, I should be safe. It's a matter of principle. You don't get to activate that. I guess it didn't technically count as being activated, but... Well, you just lost. I hope you're... Good job, Yumi. Good job. <laughs> she paid 800, then had to pay the 1,000. 404. That took way too long. I lost, but I came close to winning. Just need to try harder next time. I lost, but it was fun. Ask me to duel again sometime. I may not do that, Yumi. Idle deck.
Hmm. Zane's at the dual field. I can talk to him. Where are you, Zane? It's me. The guy with the cat. Your duels are always interesting. They make me excited about dueling again. I'll be looking forward to being your partner. You had a great talk. Alright, now what about you? Invisible hand? Let's try dueling you with the burn deck. Come on, let's go. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. I don't remember what this guy is. Just for some rando I probably beat once. First to go, second. I want to go first. Heck yeah, I don't want to go first. Yay. I made decent progress with, uh, increases everyone's hearts again today. I got another gold sandwich for Chaz, and I gave a plain sandwich to Zane, who, like, is so picky about everything. Let's just set this, and set this down. Dark Hole didn't, wasn't activated because the Dark Hole's effect didn't go off, I guess. I just thought, like, activation, cost, and effect were, like, three separate, like, things of that process from what, how I understood it. But I guess not. There we go. Hmm. I'm gonna boop one of your back row, because Invisible Hand makes it sound like you're gonna do something silly with what your spells and traps. What is that now? That thing... When this face-down card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon... I picked the worst possible thing to hit with MST, apparently. <laughs> well, all right, then. Let's do that. I'm trying not to, like, chuckle right now, because I'm just imagining that alternate card artwork I, I talked about, where, uh, the Teddy Ursus are running around on fire in Burning Land. <laughs> it's so funny to imagine all of a sudden. You die by effect, which means you come back, though, right? Bad thoughts. I have no idea why the player name spacing is different from actual opponents or characters in the game. It's a very weird decision they just kind of did. Throw down Princess. Just gonna get the burn lead. Alternate artwork of Skull Invitation should be a Dust Skull handing Teddy Ursa an invitation to a birthday party. Now that's wholesome. That's what we should do for that. All right, do I give you the penguin or the princess? Crap. Give you the princess. Don't like this. I wonder if you'll even bother flipping it up. the list, select which card your deck will send to the graveyard. Three hundred. Hundred for you. And now he gets Pyramid Turtles effect, and he summons another freaking vampire lord. This could be bad. Penguin. May as well send one back. I've got the lead. Um, this card cannot be normal summoner set. Special summon by removing from play one earth monster from your graveyard. Sent to this. It's destroyed as a result of battle and sent to the graveyard. Destroy all spell and traps on the field. Oh. Well, I'm not going to destroy them by battle. Okay. Pot of greed is my one chance at a good comeback here. Let's go. Does he, has he even, like, played any spells? Yeah, he has played a couple. Can I really depend on Curse of Darkness to save the day right now, though? I don't think I can. 
crap. Uh, do I just go for Morphing Jar? I'm gonna have to. Come on, I need to draw something good. He's gonna, he's gonna put down another Vampire Lord. Oh, yeah, I lost now. He used my own princess against me. How could you, m'lady? I thought we had something special. Remember all those people we burned alive? Did that mean nothing to you? Looks like I'll just barely live. Oh, I got swords. Oh, no. Skull invitation. No, skull invitation. Yeah, I lose. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Close, but not close enough. Thanks, I was all over that one. Next time. Should be beating these chumps with my freaking uh, better deck than this. Maybe I should buy some cards again. I've built up almost uh, quite a bit of stuff now. Half the amount of that. Life Breaker. Go Go Direct helps attack your opponents directly. Is there anything silly and cheesy you can make with these cards? I will buy four packs. Sk summon Skull Beatdown's just not super relevant now, Yo-Yo, I'm afraid. Rolago. Mucus Yuck. Fairy Meteor Crush. Oh, piercing, piercing damage stuff. Mystic Lamp. Dimensional Wall. Do I get burn damage cards from this as well? Oh, that would be very good to add to my, uh... Why am I getting all the ultras, like, first try now? This would be very, very good to put in the burn deck. That's for sure. Hang on. Your opponent controls no cards except defense position monster cards. This card can attack your opponent directly. That thing is ugly. I don't like it. This can attack your opponent's life points directly. I don't know what it was, but, um... There was, like, a lot of early effect monsters that was just... Yeah, they can attack you directly, and that's all they can do. Really weird. Alligator Sword Dragon. And throw, throw. He's throwing Ojama Yellow in that artwork. By tripping a normal monster, inflict 800 points of damage. Only normal monster. So, yeah. Destroy one face-up monster on your side of the field to inflict a thousand points of damage to both players' life points. Eh, nah. You activate this card when your opponent declares an attack with a monster. Instead of you, your opponent takes the battle damage you would have taken as a result of this battle. Okay, but I don't really put my monsters in attack mode, though. So I don't really want to put that on. Sonic Shooter. There are no cards in your opponent's spell and trap card zone. Your opponent uh, can attack your opponent's life points directly. When it does, when you battle damage this card, it becomes the original attack of this card. Oh. I'm not gonna let, it, let you cheese with it. Mystic Lamp. Absolute End. You can only activate this card during your opponent's turn. This, this turn, the attacks from your opponent's monsters become direct attacks to your life points. Um, that's not what I want to happen. Let's see if we can get some other cheesy burn stuff from this. I thought Dimension Wall said that it's only when it's an attack involving my monster. I misread that. Ectoplasm. I know you can do some cheesy stuff with that one. Rainbow Flower. Oh, I got that uh, high defense thing. Oh, Cannon Soldier. Let's just FTK with Cannon Soldier, why don't we? Spear Dragon. Enraged Battle Ox. Once during each player's end phase, a turn player tributes one face-up monster on their side of the field and flicks damage to your opponent's life points equal to the original attack attributed monster. Nah, I shouldn't do that. 
anti-aircraft flower by trivia one insect monster on your side of the field inflict 800 points of damage your opponent's life points no one on planet earth will use this card seriously it, it, it like that, that seems bad rainbow flower how rainbowy it is you can attack your opponent's life points directly by paying 500 800 life points can attack your opponent's life points directly this is good for stalling for exodia not really for burning though Mass driver. Oh, yeah, this. Um, I don't think this really combos well with my deck, but I could make some kind of cannon soldier mass driver thing. Is that realistic for 2006? Escape go bat one. Alligator sword. Mystic lamp. Cannon soldiers are super. During this turn, when your monsters attack, the attack is higher in defense. You can inflict damage. Okay, so just piercing damage for a turn. Scientist is banned, yeah. So I won't be able to do that. Death's counter blow. Destroy any monster that inflicts battle damage to a player's life points by attacking directly. Enraged Ox. Okay, just gets uh, piercing damage when attacking a specific type. Not that great. I got 62% of these already. One more. Rainbow flower. Baby dragon. Dimensional wall. Very meteor crush. Shadow slayer. What that does. Ectoplasma. No super rare stuff. Bad sword beast. Just generic stuff from that one this time. If this, er, if the only cards in your opponent's monster card zones are in defense position, this card can attack your opponent's life points directly. whoop de dingle do. Now, what did I put it at? 69%. Fairy Sky. I don't know if I really want the fairies from that. Oh, yeah, you can see Cyrus now has the, uh, the highest... Affection, so now I can only buy his pack. That's why you gotta max everyone. So silly. We could try for Chainsaw Insect. Draw, draw, draw. Try four of these. More Cylinder? No, it's limited to one. There's no reason to get another one. Uh, forget what that does. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Appropriate. Where's Chainsaw Insect? Man, I can never get Chainsaw Insect. Nothing new that time. May as well try for Sakuretsu. Just three packs right now, and that's enough. I gotta save some for sandwiches. Find destruction, pronged attack, widespread ruin. There's another fissure. Alright, now let me put Cylinder in this deck because that's very, very good. Opponent attacks and they just take a big chunk of damage. Okay, so what needs to go for Cylinder though? I feel like card destruction is something that is kind of situational. I, a lot of the times I have it, like, uh, I don't want to use it. So I'll just drop that for now and go for Magic Cylinder. Sort by frame and then go start from the bottom. There it is. Okay, that works for me. Now then, Jaden, let's get you to max hearts as well. Since you're just about there. Just checking something. Okay. Looks like I'm nearing the three hour mark, so we'll wrap this up very shortly. Then I'll just take a quick break to refill my drink, and we'll play some Pandora to end the night on. And tomorrow I'm just going to be taking it easy doing some other stuff. I want to prepare a few things.
and catch up on the thumbnails. Oh, I didn't get any monsters. Let's hope that changes with this. Uh, that's literally the worst monster I could have gotten right now. Well then. Do I go with it? Skull Invitation, it will combo. Do I really need Gravekeeper? Do I go all in with both Gravekeepers, honestly? Sacrifice an MST and Lightning Vortex? Why not? It sounds fun. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Alright. Sacrifices are now made. First, we activate Skelly. And he's getting invited to that birthday party. And now we hope Jaden just sack like just sacks a bunch of cards and loses for it. Pay the teddy bear toll. Two burning lands. Don't really need those. Okay, so we can activate swords to stall him, but it's better if he attacks into me. I can hit him hard with this, but then he's probably gonna have another monster, so I should just use Penguin and Bounce for now. Leave that slot open. Yeah, let me get a drink. My water's just about empty anyway. Two cards for the price of 1,000 life points. Sorry, 1,300. Ooh, Jaden, keep doing that. Keep doing that. See where it gets you. See where it gets you. Oh, no. Not a spell card. Stop it. Oh, okay. Make that... that. Mm, okay. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I'm not scared. Attack me. Come on. Attack me, bro. <laughs> the pot of honey lets you draw two honey. So we gotta bounce this thing. All that work for nothing. Nothing. Well, I won. Activate Burning Land. I set the skyscraper on fire. All the teddy bears lost their apartments now. And I win. <laughs> Jaden just beat himself up. I told you, the AI doesn't really react to Curse of Darkness. It just plays anyway. I mean, what else can it really do other than just not play its cards, right? It has to just hope it works out, essentially. Jaden and Chumley are at almost to max. We know that max means that they give you a free card. Is Bastion gonna give me, like, the, the little, like, pink-haired magician girl? Ugh. I don't want him to give me that card. Not from him. Well, well, well. We got some funny cards right here. Pay the teddy toll, good sir. All right, penguins over. The bear taxes, that's right. Chat, have you been paying your bear taxes? You wouldn't want to upset the teddies. Especially after they all just lost their city. Put this down. Set this lad. Heck taxes. <laughs> there we go. Don't need to flip you up.
Activate the Skelly Invitation. And whose fault was that the city burned down? Hey, I needed to win a, a card game. This will cost me a bit, but don't worry. And now we wait. Come on, Chumley. Come on, Chumley. That's right, summon the bubonic vermin. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's tributing. Two of them. The big koala. I'm only gonna do a thousand. Get burned. Nothing to worry about. I just put Poison Mummy down. I may take damage from Chain Energy, too. But it doesn't matter. Don't need to flip just Desserts or Needle Worm until we're going for game. Because they're nearly not going to be able to attack or play cards to end themselves if they're low enough. So I need that to be the finishing blow. Take 500 more. And there it is, I win. I love doing that. 220. Oh darn, I lost. Yep, sandwiches are licious. Golden egg sandwich is mine. Well, let's see about that. Hang on, can I give you any one of my sandwiches? I need to, like, unload some of this crap here anyway. I think he liked the noodles. Who liked truffles again? I think Bastion thought that was fine. Oh, wait, no, Alexis liked the truffles as well. Let's see if I can get another gold sandwich or a plain one for Zane. Nothing special there. I keep getting the garbage ones. Oh, I see it. Got it. Dizzy Angel again. There we go. Yeah, Dizzy Angel is from that episode of the anime where the father, like, who owns the alcohol company, but in, in the 4Kids version, he owns a hot sauce company. So the fact that he's dizzy from drinking hot sauce doesn't really make sense. It's meant to be called Drunken Angel. Oh, okay. That's its original name. <laughs> so they just took the name from the 4Kids dub, yeah. All right. That covers that. I remember the time I drank hot sauce. Not even once, kids. Ruined my life. There we are. Guess we can stop by here. I don't remember if I talked to him around here. I should have just called it soda. I don't know. I don't make these decisions, but... I, why didn't they do that? Not like I have feelings for this place. That's not why I'm here. Go we'll see her at the beach, because why not? Give her a truffle. Fancy meeting you here. I'm counting on you for the tournament. You had a great talk. It's your favorite. Okay. Nothing new. I should go see Zane and give him the plain sandwich now. Thanks for the gift of some subs there, Just Dog. Appreciate it. It's actually nighttime now that the dual field... Sandwich for me? Hmm, doing well. Okay, good.
everyone went back home for the night. Productive day, I would say. I didn't really, like, end up looking for a Shining Angel this week. I feel like I don't really need Shining Angel for that XYZ deck. End the day. Ugh, pardon me. Check the database. Let's see how much progress we made. Jaden is like a pixel away from like being best friends for life. Chumley is still about a third there. Alexis is like, is that the same as Jaden's? Yeah, it is. Chaz is three hearts away. So Chaz, I've gotten to increase like faster than, than I thought. Bastion, I really got to talk to him more. I'm ignoring him because he's Bastion. Zane is just about there too. Like a few more talks or one more gift should do it. Okay, let me go get the cat before anything else. Cause I'm, I'm about to wrap this up anyway. We're past the three hour mark and I don't want to go... I want to be up super late playing Pandora, so we should switch games about now. Three hours is usually about the, uh, the time I have my fill of Yu-Gi-Oh anyway. It doesn't feel like I've been using the burn deck for, um, <laughs> two hours, does it? Yeah. All right, chat, I got a cat again. Remember when that cat just disappeared randomly for like a whole episode? That I didn't even understand what was going on with that. Save completed. All right, so this is where we'll stop this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think the panda card has to be in the thumbnail now that I think about it. I can't think of what other like card I could really put there. <laughs> that should be something, yes. And people will click on the episode and be like, why is that there? Oh. The original art. I don't know about that. <laughs> no. Anyways, this is where the recording's gonna stop for YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this series, this is like, what, part 18, I think? 18, 17, 19, around that part. So if you stuck up with us that long, hope you're still having a good time with it. We're gonna switch games on Twitch, though, but for YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.